I. I'm actually in my art studio, well, my makeshift art studio, which is in the basement of my house, um, because this is where I do my paintings, at least I have since yesterday. Um, I like it down here. It's quiet, except for a person stomping upstairs. It's nice and cool, which is good for the summer. Um, it's, you know, I could just do my thing down here, and, like, there's this whole big table where I can just take over everything, pretty much. So today I'm going to talk to you about my art, my paintings, because a lot of people have asked to see it, and, um, yeah. Now, if you follow my Instagram or my Facebook, um, links are down below, by the way, hint, hint, you've probably already seen all of these, or at least most of these, but um, in this video I'm going to be talking in in depth, or as in, de in depth as I can, about each painting, and my inspirations, my motivations, and, yeah. I'm going to try to go in chron chronological order, even though most of these have been done within July of 2013. I've been going on a painting binge lately. Um, like I said, you, the, those of you who follow my Facebook and Instagram probably know this already. Um, so please apologize for my messy ponytail and lack of makeup today because I am on a painting binge and I'm probably going to spend most of my day painting anyways. I'm going to just talk a bit about my history with painting and drawing. Um, I'm usually used to pencil crayons more, and I could have another video where I draw, uh, show my sketchbooks and show my drawings, but recently I've really been into acrylic paint. I've never really been that into it before. Like, I have done some, but I've, I'm 99% of the stuff I'm not happy with, so this is pretty interesting, um, because I'm actually happy with, semi-happy with the paintings that I have. And you can see I have paint on my arm. I got an abstract painting going there, because, um... Yeah, I really rest my arm on the canvas when I paint. So my main inspirations are Salvador Dali and like any like most surrealist painters and uh, Mark Ryden. Um, in case you didn't know, Mark Ryden is an awesome artist, and you should look him up. It's R Y D E N last name. And um, I like to do you know odd surrealist kind of inspired. It's hard to explain. I you can usually tell everybody can usually tell if a painting is mine because of my style and I've basically been drawing slash painting slash whatever since I was the age of two and actually they had to correct my hand because I would hold the pen like this or like the whatever I was drawing with I'd hold it like this like an, an artist but they had to correct my hand so I could actually do it in the writing way I don't paint like that but I did when I was a baby apparently and I went to an arts high school for high school, like for um, half my high school career, I went to Rosedale High School of the Arts, which is in Toronto, and it's a really good school. Um, my favorite class there was obviously life drawing, where we got to draw the naked people. It really helped me with proportions, and another a good tip for you guys who draw out there, um, once you learn proportions, you can learn how to skew them and make them your own, so proportions is one of the foundations of art. And the number one tip I have for getting good at art for those of you who want to know, is just practice. It's simple as that. Just sit down and draw your little heart out, paint your little heart out. I'm sorry if you can hear the people upstairs. Anyways, let's get to the paintings. So probably the earliest one I have here is this. It's flat. Um, it's a guy with a tentacle and a girl with three eyes, basically. Um, I did it last year, like maybe May of 2012. It took me like a month of like different sessions to finish it. And by the way, all my paintings are acrylic on canvas, so yeah. Um, I'll just explain it a little bit. Well, I can't really explain much about it. This is the actually actually the only painting from like that wasn't done in the last couple months that I actually enjoy because um, I was never really that big on painting. It's just I liked the aesthetic of this. I liked tentacles. I liked under the sea. Um, to get this texture here, I use kitchen sponges, which is a re another really good tip. Um, and I like three-eyed. I did a lot of three-eyed for people drawings back then. Anyhow, moving on. Um, this one is called Shy. I did it last month. It's clearly a fetus. It's done all in dollar store paint. The sides are black. Um, yeah, it's done with dollar store paint. The background is a faint purple that I also use kitchen sponges to dapple on mixed with white. And, um, yeah, uh, I just thought, like, hey, I should draw a fetus, and it's a new style that I've adopted. I haven't actually painted or drawn in this style ever, but I tried it, and it turns out it worked out really well, so, yeah. Next, I have this one, which I call C. In case you can't tell, the girl's eyes are closed, but there's black paint looking like open eyes. It's like an illusion. The eyebrows are painted on, and a smile, and dots. Yeah. So, for the background, I used tape to make really clean edges. I usually don't like using tape because I think of it as cheating, but it's not really. Um, everything else is done by hand, though. It took me several hours to do, and uh, there's not much else to say. I saw a picture on a Facebook group that looked kind of like this that inspired me, but not exactly. It was just a guy with a face painted on, so I thought I should do something similar. 
All right, next we have Bound. It's another black and white one. By the way, that um, C and this were also done with Dollar Store paint. So yeah, this background took forever to dry, just saying. It's, it's more water than paint, really. Like it's black acrylic paint watered down and just splattered and smudged all over the place. Uh, it took several hours to dry. I was getting quite impatient with it. So uh, let's take a look. So you can see some brush strokes close up. But yeah, this one took a little while just to get all the lines perfect because I'm a perfectionist, as you can tell, when it comes to my art. So there's not much else to say about this one. It's pretty simple. Um, it's very graffiti-esque, I think, and I started to do experiment with more different kinds of styles than I used to when I painted, which is probably why it's more exciting for me to paint nowadays. Next we have Spectacle. or as my mom calls it, smoking alien. They're not aliens, they're Siamese twins without faces. I don't know why people have a problem, or not a problem, but people tend to ask why they don't have faces. I don't know why, I just, I paint what I, whatever I dream up in my imagination. I thought, hey, it'd be cool to paint things that didn't have faces because that's what people would expect, right? So here's a closer look at that. Again, dollar store paint, I use tape for this. Um, but the background was really hard to do because after I taped it, I had to like actually go over with a brush and clean up the lines. So it was painstaking, but it's definitely rewarding because this is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite paintings. I'm very, very interested in circus themed things. So this is kind of circus themed, but with the red and white stripes and the fact that they're Siamese twins. It's called Spectacle because they're like a sideshow. So that's the theme of this painting. And yeah, next we have Pest. Yeah, as you can tell, most of these canvases are the same size, um, studio canvases. Uh, this one, it's pretty interesting. I used to do these kinds of things a lot more often, but more with drawings. Um, the, the white outline with the black, as you can see, I haven't really done that that much. Like, I, this is the first my first time trying it. As you can see, the eyeballs, like, all wrinkly and stuff. But yeah, it's, like, essentially a spine with, like, spindly legs and a stinger. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what was going through my mind at this point, but um, I just thought I should draw a bug. I'm very interested in bugs, even though I don't want them near me. I just like the look of them. I like how people perceive them as dirty, and that makes them like unwanted, so it makes for good art. I know it sounds stereotypical, but that's what I think when I uh, do the painting. And here we have Bat Embryo I Call Rascal. I don't know why I call him Rascal, but the whole title of the painting is Bat Embryo I Call Rascal. Um, I took a reference picture of a bat embryo off of Tumblr, and I kind of modified it to make it my own. Everybody says the wing looks like a frog leg, but that doesn't bother me because it can look like whatever you want it to. Yeah, I just had a bunch of dollar store paint left over and I was like, I haven't used orange in a while. So I just streaked the background on really thick with, I made sure the white on the background was wet and then I added some orange and I added some black. It didn't take that long, but uh, it took a long time to dry. And the bat itself didn't take long to do. I just, um, I sketched it on and then I just obviously painted it. And uh, this is probably my favorite out of all of these because, I don't know, I like bats, I like fetuses, and um, I like halloween -y colors, so. And two more. First we have this one that I did yesterday. It's called Sea Hag Loses Her Mask. Obviously a sea hag loses her mask. Um, my motivations behind this were that uh, she found a treasure, but she's looking at the mask because she's more concerned with looking happy than the treasure because, you know, she wants to put on this facade of happiness even though it's kind of a creepy happy. And this is inspired by, by graffiti art as well because of these, um, eh, these lines and, you know, these shapes and whatnot. And this took me quite a long time. It took me about six hours. And the background, as you can see, I don't know if this picks up too well on camera, but uh, I put um, paint, like greenish, bluish paint, and mixed it with water, put it in a spray bottle, and I sprayed this down three or four coats, and it looked like this. So that background took more than forever to dry. Like, I started doing it two weeks ago, and um, yeah, I just did the painting part today. This wasn't with dollar store paint. This is my first painting of all of these that didn't use dollar store paint. Finally, I have for you my self-portrait. I don't think it looks like me, but I, people have told me that it looks like a photograph, so I'm like, okay. I don't know if you recognize this makeup look. I don't think you on YouTube would, but um, on Facebook, I had a picture of myself where I did this kind of makeup, and uh, I'm probably gonna do it for a tutorial eventually. But it's when I had my dreads braided and I thought, hey, this would be a cool self-portrait to do because um, I wanted to do a self-portrait for a while and I really like this makeup look, so I just did this. I basically finished it like less than an hour ago. Um, it's all dry though and I still have to do the sides. I don't like the messy sides. I'm very, very anal about that. But yeah, 
It's a very cartoony version of myself. Uh, I like to paint cartoony things, as you can probably tell from my other paintings. And again, for the background, I used, uh, I actually used makeup sponges this time. I actually have one here, but I tore it up to make texture, and then I just mixed it with white and dappled it on. Um, that's a really good technique, too, if you want to achieve better, better backgrounds, because I used to suck at backgrounds, honestly. I mean, I used to never do backgrounds, and when I did, they were awful, so, um, yeah. Anyways, that's all the paintings I have for you. If you have any questions, you can feel free to ask me uh, about art advice or, you know, about my art career or lack thereof, I guess. I do have a deviant art for those who may be wondering. It's I'm going to put the link down in the description. Um, it's millicentj.deviantart.com because Millicent Jade is actually my birth name. And it shows all my paintings and a couple of sketchbook things that you probably haven't seen on this video. So check that out if you want to, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed me rambling on about my paintings, and I'll see you on Tuesday.